Hello. Good morning to one and all. I am Rishkesh Velis, HOD, Department of Pharmacology, Mutwani College of Pharmacy, welcoming you all for the episode 14 of Virtual National Level Student Development Program. At the outset, I just want to give a brief overview of the National Level Student Development Program. Now, this program is an unique platform provided by Amutmani College of Pharmacy, where our bright alumni are going to interact with all the students over the country. We have selected the alumni from different pharmaceutical domains, and we have divided the program into 14 episodes. Now, just I am going to give an overview of the program that we have conducted today. We have started the program on 9th of October 2021, where first topic was Roadmap to Careers in USA. Open chart by Ms. Nirja Bhangde, who is senior research said, at Gillette Sciences, California, USA, where keynote address was given by Dr. Sohan Chitlangesa. Second session was of aspiring clinical research and clinical trial by Mr. Sambhaji Khedkar, who is a clinical research scientist at Rasayani Biological Pune, and keynote was given by Dr. Sidhu Pasesa. Next session was on biotechnology products given by Mr. Amit Pause, who is a senior scientist and assistant manager at Serum, Serum, uh, Bharat, Bharat Serum Vaccine, Mumbai. And session keynote was Dr. Bibu Prasad Panda. Next session was on basics of supply chain, given by Mr. Prashant Deshpande, who is in Novartis, Hyderabad. And session was, keynote was Dr. B.M. Lundesar. Next session was fish diet product by Mr. Pat Thakkar, and uh, he is from Cadre Healthcare, Ahmedabad. And session keynote was Dr. Sanjay Sisagar, sir. Next session was on quality by design, QBD, by Mr. Prasad Gunja, formation development scientist at Inventia. Then session keynote was Dr. Vishal Pandey, sir. Next session was on product quality management. This is Sarojani Gule gave the session. She is assistant manager, Ferring, Pharmaceutical Mumbai. And keynote speaker was principal Dr. Ganesh Dhamma, sir. Next session was on patent by Mr. Sopanil Ghorpadi, manager Peter said about Healthcare Private Limited, and Dr. Avinash Darikar was keynote speaker at that time. The session was regulatory affairs for pharma and medical devices by Mr. Sagar Paste, who is a regulatory affairs program manager at Philips, and keynote address was given by Dr. Vivek Kumar Edasri. Next was technology transfer, and the session was conducted by Mr. Pramod Bise, his team leader at Virgo Pharma. Goa and session keynote was Dr. John Disosa sir. Next session was basic of spectroscopy and practical demonstration of NMR by Dr. Mukesh Sunene, he is a product specialist at Lambda Lab India Analytical Instruments, New Mumbai. And keynote address was Dr. R.D. Vaksa. Next session was on quality assurance and quality control by Mrs. Ratna Ahira. She is lab QA head at Indigo Remedies Group. Now, today we have reached to our last session. That is the 14th episode of National Level Student Development Program, where we are glad to invite our alumni, Mr. Santosh Bhujbal, who is a PhD research scholar at University of Auckland, Auckland, New, New Zealand. Now, it is again a special moment for a teacher like me, because Santosh is my student from first year, final year, and I'm watching his progress day by day, how he's progressing. So it is again a, a moment of happiness for me to invite Mr. Santosh Bhutbal for sharing his knowledge with us. Now, to grace this auspicious occasion, today we have respected eminent personality with us, Dr. V.K. Deshmukh, sir, who is a principal at MES College of Pharmacy, Sonai. I heartily welcome you, sir, for this session. Now, I invite our student, Ms. Apeksha Rajguru, to introduce today's keynote speaker, Dr. V.K. Deshmukh, sir. Raj Apeksha. Good morning, everyone. Hello, I'm Rajguru Apeksha Dashrath from Amrut Mahini College of Pharmacy. Welcome you all in this National Level Student Development Program episode 14. Today we are having with us great personality, Dr. Vinayak Deshmukh sir, currently working as principal at Mura Education Society College of Pharmacy, Sonai. Sir has total 25 years of professional experience in teaching and industry. Sir completed PhD from Swami Ramananda Tirtha Maratwada University, Nanded. Sir M completed M Pharmacy from JSS College of Pharmacy, UT in 1997 with the first PBJ. B Pharmacy from Maratwada Institute of Pharmacy, Tilanga at Dr. Babasaheb Ambedkar Maratwada University, 
in 1993 with first division sir has area of research interest in design and synthesis of new chemical entities with anti cancer and anti inflammatory activity analytical method development for new drugs sir has published 25 research publication in reputed international and national journals and around 15 research presentation in international and national conference and workshop sir had work experience at raujanaik institute of pharmacy bulhana welker lab private limited nanded anuradha college of pharmacy chikli nes college of pharmacy sonai and amrutvani college of pharmacy sarmam sir your work and experience is inspiration to all of us i welcome you in this grand event sir welcome thank you, thank you. now i wish to welcome dr vk deshmukh sir to guide us what to sir thank you so myself dr vk deshmukh today i am here to deliver the keynote address at national level student development program which is organized by amrut vaini college of pharmacy sangamner on a topic of industry expectation for pharmacy from pharmacy students so uh, while going through the introduction given by the valis sir i really appreciate the initiative taken by the amrutvaini college regarding the student development and that to a national level and i congratulate dr mj chavan sir and his all team members all faculty members for organizing this program in which various topics of student interest were delivered and discussed by the eminent personalities from the respective field coming to the today's topic that is industry expectation now when it comes to the expectation we can't say that this is the final expectation and beyond that there is uh, nothing because it is the continuous process and as because the pharma industry is growing very fast uh, if you just uh, go to the calculation you will find that more than 10 to 12% percent, uh, development is there in the pharma industry and uh, considering this particular uh, uh, development industry expectation day by day is increasing now if you just uh, how the industrial expectation if you divide or classify the industrial expectation we can divide in various part uh, the first thing uh, i can say here is the academic related so when industry expect the student must have the awareness in basic modern tool handling so in which uh, the institutions those are having the good sophisticated equipment instrument or the pilot plants student must have that particular uh, experiential learning or they must able to handle their uh, handle these equipments by their own uh, with the self learning process so that is a basic thing if I, uh, any institute is having the hplc ub or ir what the uh, software uh, which is used for the operating that particular equipment or uh, which facility or what is the make of that particular uh, equipment instrument or uh, what is the specification of that instrument all this specification all this knowledge student must have and that is the expectation of the industry then basic practical knowledge day to day practical so the students are doing day to day practicals and during that the student and the concept behind that particular practical the arrangement of the equipments or the arrangement of that particular practical and along with that the basic thing again is the technical skill while arranging or uh, handling that particular equipment or the practical setup and uh, the self learning is very important that approach must student must have that uh, self learning approach to develop his knowledge in academy coming to the other part uh, industry also expect The, that the student must have the knowledge of current affairs uh, which is taking place in a uh, pharmaceutical industry that is development of pharma industry then uh, ipr knowledge then regulatory needs of the industry current uh, needs of uh, regulatory uh, industry then trends in new drug development and r and d that may be a formulation r and d or basic uh, drug development r and d or api uh, development then a professional identity is very much important while conducting or while working in a society or in any industry the professional approach is very important that should be developed in the 
student during his education undergraduate undergraduate or post graduate then leadership activities are again important thing then problem solving skill must be there develop and the most important thing to work in the industry that may be the production research development marketing whatsoever the area which you are working supposed to work you must have ability to work in team that is a very most important and that is expectation from the industry then uh, considering the soft skill of the student the positive attitude must be developed in the student he must have the good communication skill then he must have the good command on english language because it is a universal language and we can say that it is a language of instruction in pharma industry then in addition to this the commitment dedication sincerity these are very much important because when you are working as a professional in pharma industry irrespective of your salary irrespective of your position cadre you must able to have that particular commitment to complete your target and that is the major expectation see uh, completing the target or uh, achieving that particular uh, given assignment is very much important which is reflects your professional approach which reflects your commitment dedication and sincerity now along with this the present scenario present uh, global requirement is the computer knowledge and internet knowledge must be there student must aware of the window operating systems then they must he must have he or she must have the basic knowledge of uh, powerpoint presentation excel knowledge then if you consider the uh, which is somewhat uh, out of our syllabus we can say that is atocad drawing yesterday when i was discussing with the, one of the executive from parental he told me that the atocad knowledge is very much required for the person who is working in parental area if he would like to have present uh his uh, presentation anywhere in the uh, in any uh, meeting or any program then while discussing the layout of the industry he must able to know the or he must able to demonstrate the layout in atocad drawing so that is also very much important thing and the educational software those are there in the your institute the student must aware of that the basic knowledge uh, the softwares for the educational means uh, pharmacology software are there qsr qsr software are there then the softwares which are used to operate the various sophisticated instruments so these are the basic uh, features or basic area where the student must have the knowledge of all this area and on that particular knowledge industry is expecting the student must have this particular uh, area knowledge now as the there is a fast changes taking place in technology drug development formulation development there is a huge competition in market there is a changes in uh, regulatory rules are taking place ipr is uh, getting changed every time and to fulfill this uh, again we should concentrate on four area where uh, we should take initiative to develop all these uh, abilities i can say in a student and to fulfill the expectation the one of the major thing uh, which is required is the syllabus upgradation as per the current needs the time to time upgradation of curriculum is very much important and it should be a continuous process it should not that uh, after more than 20 years we have changed the syllabus we have shifted from university to the uh, one syllabus all over india that is uh, syllabus of pci but uh, it should not be a, now we have changed change but it should be a continuous process every year there should be a change after a long time pci has introduced the new syllabus uh, and the, with a new concept that is a practice school now this particular practice school concept were in, uh, was introduced just to have the what are the knowledge student uh, got from this learning it should be implemented in the industry and uh, the student must get aware of the industrial environment for that particular purpose it has been introduced but if you consider the ratio uh, of the number of student graduating every year from all over india to the number of industry ready to support this particular concept it is really questionable because uh, industry are not uh, willing to have more than two or three student for the training in their area 
and because of the regulatory parameters or regulatory constraint uh, they are not allowing the student to enter in their uh, working area so this is really difficult to uh, uh, practice this uh, this particular uh, school uh, or execution of this practice school is very much difficult in the uh, i can see in india i can uh, we can see in india but uh, for to develop uh, to overcome this particular problem institute should develop their own pilot plants should have the strong uh, industry interaction should uh, conduct the uh, various uh, courses certificate courses they must uh, have the industrial visits then industrial professional guest lecture must be organized to overcome all this particular constraint i can say now uh, another point which has been introduced in the syllabus that is the elective subject the various elective subject uh, this year has been introduced for the final year and on the basis of the requirement of the industry it has been introduced it is a really positive uh, point i can say regarding this particular uh, topic now coming to the next requirement to fulfill the uh, expectation of industry the faculty member must take the interest in a teaching learning process now every faculty member is having the stipulated uh, practicals and periods are there he goes in a class and uh, deliver his lecture but while doing that he must aware and he must take interest in a, a recent trends or recent development in that particular topic which is happening in a industry what is basically practice presently in a industry he must have talk with the student he must uh, give some examples he must show some videos how the interaction should give the assignment to the student to how the current affairs regarding that particular point and uh, he must how evaluate that all the parameters so that student will involved in uh, learning the current affairs of the beyond syllabus content of that particular topic so the faculty interest interest in developing or achieving the expectation of the uh, industry is very much important another thing is that the institution those are uh, means uh, the pharmacy institutions they must have the facility all around development see only having the good building uh, will not matter so all the facilities regarding teaching learning process all the facilities regarding a uh, sport organizing cultural events because all these and involvement of maximum number of student in all those area is very much important to develop and to cope up with the expectation of industry see leadership development the problem solving is there then um, you know, the working in a team uh, is there all these uh, parameters are developed in this particular by organizing this particular event and the faculty member must compel the student to participate in almost all the uh, programs which is conducted in college or outside of the college another and in addition to this the most important thing i would like to say here is that the student approach that is very much important now the nowadays the students are not that much interested they are not willing to go in the library they are just willing to have their uh, mobile phones in their hands with the whatsapp and facebook uh, surfing but instead of that the faculty member must uh, compel themselves you know, by giving assignment giving some projects to divert them from this particular whatsapp and facebook and coming uh, concentrating on the recent trends in the industry new development in various areas of the pharmaceutical industry so the most important thing is the student approach towards the continuous learning that is very important the student must understand that whatever the subject he is learning he is not learning for the uh, qualifying that particular examination but he is learning for the knowledge so it is very much important faculty member and all the student must uh, take this particular initiative uh, that whatever they are teaching or whatever the students are learning it should be for knowledge and not just for the qualifying the examination of that particular subject so uh, active participation is very much important in every program or every events of that particular uh, class or every subject student must be able to uh, study the beyond syllabus topic uh, or beyond syllabus or whatever the topic which is taught in the classes student must go to the uh, websites or uh, google 
google the various new trends in that particular topic so that they will understand the uh, current trends happening in that particular area so uh, the various expectations can be achieved or various uh, expectation of the industry will be fulfilled with this particular parameter parameters if the institution industry student and faculty members along with the uh, the apex body such as pci aict universities if they are concentrating on this area i i think so we can able to cop up or we can able to uh, achieve the expectation of the industry from the student now coming to the various expectations uh, for the job recruitment of the of the industry if you consider the production area uh, yesterday when i had talked with the faculty person she uh, gave me some ideas regarding the what industry is expecting from the student when they are uh, recruiting that particular student in parental or in general manufacturing plant see uh, he told me that the water system is the heart of the injectable plant so the student must able to define and uh, discuss the various water type that is raw water purified water or it is also called as gm water then water for injection difference between the sterile water injection then uh, sterilization processes steam in place media feed area sterilization and various sterilization procedures which are followed uh, for the um, uh, sterilization of area equipments vessels then filling systems or filling lines then see the very much important thing what we miss in the academic is the calibration so the faculty members or the institution they are not that much serious about the calibration of equipment or the uh, the basic uh, equipment which is required is the balance so the weighing tools is very much important in the pharma industry because it it is going to affect the strength uh, of that particular uh, api so uh, weighing balances different scoops are used in the industry those are not taught those are not uh, included in our syllabus so standard weighing procedures then uh, weighing balances and their calibrations they are very much important then coming to the uh, air handling units various laminar air flow, flow then return laminar air flow air handling units hvac all these are very much important and the knowledge of the student uh, must be updated updated i am talking about the updated knowledge because uh, what are the knowledge you are getting in the books or in the classes that is not sufficient to uh, to complete the expectation of the industry so additional knowledge the current knowledge of all this area is very much important manufacturing of uh, various recent uh, formulations such as blow fill seal or pre filled syringe are there then uh, while doing the uh, means manufacturing in a parental area the vessels procedures must be followed clean in place steam in place pressure hold test which is required for that particular vessel and filling lines so all these areas must be uh, learn or additional knowledge must be gained by the student if he is willing to go for the uh, interview of injectable so likewise there are very much uh, various areas are there quality control is there quality assurance is there uh, then industry regulatory affairs are there then formulation uh, development is there then clinical research is there all these area they are required a specific knowledge of that particular area student must get the specific knowledge of that area so because of the constraint of time i will stop here and uh, i am very much thankful to the amrutwani college of pharmacy as here uh, they have given me a chance to deliver my lecture or deliver my speech you know address on the expectation of industry from the pharmacy student so uh, here i stop thanks a lot thank you sir thank you sir for sharing your visit with us it will be really helpful for us now i again invite apeksha rajguru to introduce our today's speaker mr santosh bhuwar apeksha We are having with us one of our AVCOP family member, Santosh Bhuvar sir. Sir has completed M Pharmacy in Pharmaceutics in 2012 to 14 and B Pharmacy from 2008 from Amrutwani College of Pharmacy 
affiliated to Savitri Bai Phule University, India. She cleared IELTS exam and joined a PhD program at University of Auckland, New Zealand, with four year of full doctoral scholarship by Department of Health, New Zealand. Sir is a research professional with over seven plus year of industrial experience in formulation and development of various pharmaceutical delivery systems and analysis. Sir is expertizing QBD formulation and process optimization, GMP and clinical manufacturing, technology transfer, scale up and validation. He is a recipient of Sparkle Well Done and Sparkle Shining Star Awards by Sun Pharma Advanced Research Company Limited. Sir has work experience at Pitla, Mumbai, Sun Pharma Advanced Research Company, Vadodara, Mylan Laboratories, Micro Labs, Bangalore. Sir has set high benchmark of his work and experience. I welcome you to this event and sir, once again, welcome to the panel. Thank you. Thank you, Apeksha. Now I request Santosh to share his views, his thoughts with our students. Santosh, over to you. Yeah, uh, before going to start, I just wanted to say thank you to all EVCOP family, dear principal sir, for providing this opportunity to present my thoughts uh, in front of our dear students. Okay. So as you aware, our today's topic is industry expectation from pharmacy graduates. So my, uh, if we're going to start, I just wanted to clear a few things uh, that language is not the barrier for this session. Uh, you can, if you have any doubt, you can ask me in any language. I can understand English, Hindi, and Marathi. Okay. So means while preparing these slides, uh, I have kept uh, fresh graduates in my mind because along with experience, you know what are the industry expectations and you can cope up with them. But the pharmacy graduates are not aware about what are the industry expectations and how they are going to judge in interview process or in job application process within that one to two hours, how they are going to judge the candidate, whether that candidate fulfills their expectations or not. So these points I'm going to cover in this session. Okay, have you seen uh, the picture of this job interview? The interviewer is there and the chair is broken. The same situation is there in today's era. You have to prepare your own chair. You have to, uh, means it's your responsibility to prepare your own place to be hired in that organization. Because nowadays uh, there is a lot of saturation is there. So everyone is trying to get the job and the industry is having a lot of applications. So among that application, one or two candidates are going to select. So they are judging each and every step. and. Uh, uh, judging process is start right from the application means how you are going to write your email from that point of view they are going to judge you whether you fulfill their expectations or not so one by one we are going to see what are the industry expectations from pharmacy graduates how we can show them what skills you have about your uh, knowledge theoretical knowledge as well as your personality and all okay so what is the content of our today's slides? What are the key industry expectations from pharmacy graduates? Apart from these expectations, there are many more, but at least you should be aware about these expectations that uh, I'm going to cover in these slides. What is the worst interview means? Uh, we can say this interview is worst. We can say this interview is best. We can, means we are going to see what are the parameters which defines the interview, whether it is worst or not, or whether it is best or not. What are the common mistakes while applying for the job? Means what are the common mistakes students or fresh graduates or any candidate are doing at the time of job applications? Means uh, <clears throat> what I have observed, the student or fresh graduates are very keen to get the job or they are very interested or means with energetically they are searching for new jobs. But at the time of job applications, they are not at all serious. Means uh, they don't know how to apply for the job or they are not serious about this process. So many times 90% of applications are rejected at this point only. Uh, some real time examples of incorrect job applications we are going to see because I think this is the uh, area or sector where means organizations are not focusing or students are not serious. 
and this is the reason for 90% of rejections format for an ideal correlator for job applications these are the some points we are going to cover in this session so we will start with key industry expectation from graduates what are the key uh, industry expectations from any graduates the candidate should have knowledge and skills you should have a good and positive attitude fitment as you have to work in organization you should be a fit in every aspects means as you have to work as a team player you should be fit within the team you should be emotionally intelligent you should be energetic these are the some skills that defines or that make you a strong candidate and you have to show these skills during your interview process okay so we will see one by one first one is knowledge and skills what you observe in this picture the person is having all the resources but he don't know how to utilize these resources so not any organization is going to select this type of persons because every organization is wants to grow and to for the growth they can provide you all the resources but it's your responsibility how to utilize that resources and how to give end product results that will help to grow the industry okay so knowledge and skills are defined by subject matter experts means subject matter expert is not the one who is having all the bookish knowledge means bookish knowledge is important but along with bookish knowledge you should know what is going around what are the different softwares available to perform different tasks what are the latest technologies are there what are the different equipments are there what are the different manufacturers are there who are going to manufacture that equipment suppose if you are going to attend interview in parental drug manufacturing in production area or in pharma r&d you should be aware about what are the key player who are going to supply the tanks for injectable product manufacturing for example uh, different tank manufacturers are there and you should know what are the different tank manufacturers what is their moc what is their material of construction you should be aware about that means apart from your theoretical knowledge you should know okay uh, who need to be logical and think intellectually the person they are going to hire he should have some logical knowledge restricting yourself to bookish knowledge does not make you a good candidate he has already i told that apart from bookish knowledge you should you have some uh, extra knowledge that what's going around you the good companies are always looking for candidate who come up with an innovative idea nowadays lot of saturation is there everyone is looking for innovation and the candidate who is having innovative ideas it will be easily hired by the organization and yes it is also depends upon for what department for what position they are going to hire you sometimes the innovation is not required for some job uh, positions communication skills are uh, along with the subject matter expertise communication skills are very important although you are expert in your uh, subject but you don't know how to express it then that knowledge is of no, uh, no use the candidate must possess a good communication skills if he expect to be hired into a good firm or organization in pharma industry english is the first language means our every document in india we are preparing in english our every activity we are covering in english language so basic english knowledge is very important in pharma industry all the thought process and knowledge are of no use if the candidate cannot communicate his thoughts in proper work good knowledge of english and the ability to communicate effectively thus play a vital role uh, here i want to share one of my means live example in the past i have arranged one interview of one candidate and the interviewer asking questions in english and the candidate is giving answers in marathi but the interview panel is having three recruiters among them two are of marathi and one is from andhra pradesh he don't aware about marathi and simply they rejected that candidate and they give me a follow up that we are asking questions in english and that candidate is giving answers in marathi so although the answers are right but they don't like that approach so communication skills are very important in pharma industry and you should have at least basic knowledge of english attitude Uh, many employers believe that having a positive attitude is more important than the knowledge because the attitude is infectious means suppose they hired a positive person 
it will reflect the positivity. If they hire a negative person, it will reflect the negativity. So no one wants to pollute their uh, environment or their professional environment. So everyone is looking for positive personalities. So positive attitude is very important. It's paid to all others in the workplace. A positive person is always tend to be more curious about things. As a result, his job performance is usually better than a negative person. So while giving interview, they are also judging for your attitude, means how you are handling the questions, how you are handling the interview, how you are giving the answers, whether your approach is positive or not. When I was in Milan uh, during our uh, HR round, the HR has asked everyone, means every candidate, they ask two questions. You have to tell two positive things and one negative things. Among one, we all are hired, just uh, formality is there during that HR round, but the one candidate has told to HR that uh, the, my positive point is I'm smart worker and my negative point is I'm not a hard worker. I don't want to work in a long shifts. I'm not able to work for eight hour shift. Means I'm feeling very boring. The HR directly told to that candidate in pharma industry, we need hard work as well as smart work. Means here we have some defined procedures, some defined shifts. So I think uh, you are not looking for a means a job that you like, that you want. So sometimes it's our responsibility in your interview, in your position, you have to decide your answers. Sometimes there is need to define your answer as per your situation. So it defines your attitude. Fitment. Fitment is very important because you are working in an organization and an organization is made up of number of peoples. A versatile person is what is most often expected of a pharmacy graduate. Monotony is the last thing expected of pharmacies. Means you should be a team player. You should not be a monotonous person. You need to be a versatile. You can be the strict boss, the helping colleague, the understanding employee, and the courageous leader all the same time. Means fitment is very important. Your flexibility should conceal your true inner self. Should be flexible means you have to react means with respect to person every person is having means different personalities having different thought processes different nature so you have to cope up with everyone your nature should never be predictable in pharma industry or in every industry there is little bit politics is there okay sometimes it's a good politics sometimes it's a bad politics your nature should never be predictable the unpredictable is one key ingredient that helps you to survive in the industry so emotionally intelligent emotionally intelligent this is the key expectation that every industry wants because here they want a candidate should have a good decision maker sometimes you have to take some decisions which are very critical but the decision should be taken within the time because if you are taking more time that will hamper the growth of that industry okay sometimes what happen you have to send some emails to higher management some managers are very good in email writing when they need have to write that email promptly they write email and they initiate the process but sometimes some managers are there which they care what happened where are i have means how I can send this email to that person. In that process, the decision making is delayed and they delay the process. So it will hamper the business of the organization. Empathy, stress management. In pharma industry, there is a lot of stress because directly, because directly you're dealing with the live beings or human beings. So every time there is a stress. Okay, self-esteem, commitment, interpersonal awareness is very important. Commitment is the thing that every organization expects in pharma industry because in pharma industry, all the procedures and rules are defined and commitments are very important. If you are committed for any activity, that activity should be performed well within the time frame. Energetic. Okay, so how we can say the person is energetic? How do you demonstrate enthusiasm? How are uh, there are some suggestions? I can approach is very important. Means never say no. The person who say no, no one wants that person in their team. I can approach is very important. Although you don't know how to perform that approach, you should uh, say them. I can learn. I can perform. Unbeat manner, energetic outlook. 
cooperative behavior, eagerness, maturity, respect for others and their ideas. When you are giving respect for others, everyone is there to stand for you, to help for you, to share their ideas with you. Sometimes some experience means with the age you may not have. But when you are discussing with others, when you are discussing with some experienced personalities, knowing you are unknowingly, they are going to teach you. They are going to share their experiences with you. And it means you can use that experience uh, in your day-to-day -day life, in your day-to-day -day professional life. Appropriate body language, punctuality, interest in the job. Interest in the job is the first thing that can be responsible for your personal as well as your professional growth. And at the same time, it is responsible for the growth of the organization. Motivation and inspiration. Every industry wants a person who is motivated because motivated personalities are giving more than unmotivated personalities. Believing in oneself, being proactive, offering assistance, going above and beyond, willingness to improve. And sometimes you may fail, but you should be have willpower that you can go beyond this ability to learn. These are the some things that defines your anagenism. Am I audible? Okay. What are the other expectations? Ability to lead. Every industry wants a leader. While there are many pharmacy graduates who score will well in their papers, there are very few who are true leaders. Leaders are those personalities which guides others, which take others along with them. Okay, if you wish to be hired by one of the leading companies, you must possess the ability to lead. And how, and how you are going to show your leadership skills by your college and school event examples. Do not hesitate to tell the interviewers about different academic or colony events where you lead a group to make the event successful. Leadership skills are sure to be counted as a plus point during your interview process. So it's your responsibility how you are going to highlight your leadership skills during your job application, during your interview process. So definitely your leadership skills will give you added advantage while your recruitment process. Willingness to travel. In pharma industry, every candidate should have willingness to travel because we means with respect to your job, you may need how to travel. Okay, because suppose we have R&D in Mumbai, but we have our plant all over the India or outside the India. So you should show your willingness to travel during your hiring process. As pharmacies assess, assess the success of ladder, the expectation from a pharmacist seems to increase too. A pharmaceutical expert may be expected to travel places and meet senior level individuals in different states and countries. For example, if you are a formulation scientist, you have formulated one formulation, okay, and you have to transfer that technology from R&D to plant. And your plant is in Hyderabad. You have worked in R&D in Mumbai. So there is need to travel to transfer that technology. So the candidate should able to travel or should have the thought process that I need have to travel. Means I can approach is very important at this point. Sometimes some individuals are not ready to travel due to their some personal problems. And industry means as industry wants to grow, they want I can approach. They may be expected to share knowledge, ideologies, and give presentations in the most effective manner. Most individuals are unwilling to travel to different countries and places. This is not acceptable from pharmacists who wish to succeed in the field. They should always be eager to travel places and grasp the new opportunities. So during your hiring process, interviewer may ask you whether you are willing to travel to different places for company work or not. It's your responsibility to show a positive response to them that you can travel, no problem. Ability to multitask. While focus is an important aspect in the pharmaceutical career, there is something more important than focus on the pharmaceutical career. It is the ability to multitask. A pharmacist may have to shoulder several responsibilities at the same time. This may not be possible for individual who focus their complete attention on one thing. 
when the ability to multitask becomes extremely crucial. For example, if you are working in pharma R&D as a formulation scientist, sometimes you become a purchaser, means you have to purchase few things, few tubes, few uh, novel excipients. Sometimes you would have to bargain with the vendors. Okay, sometimes you have to become a production executive. I mean, sometimes they can give a line, but they are not giving persons to you to perform that task. Sometimes you have to perform that task. Sometimes you have to become a packaging developer. Means you have to define your own packaging material with respect to your products. Sometimes you have to become a regulatory expert. So you should have a multitask ability. It is also very important to grow in your career. And uh, ambitious, I can say uh, this, is, this is the quality every organization is expecting from the candidate because the person who is ambitious means the person who is having goals in their career is definitely beneficial for any organization. The person who don't have any ambitious or the person who is satisfied means, means suppose today I'm deputy manager, I'm satisfied at this position. No organization wants that personality because they don't want to do extra. They are happy with whatever position they have, means that definitely hamper the end product results of that organization. The never say never attitude is expected from most graduates. The career has its ups and downs, and people who are not willing to take up risk or who give up too easily are never fit to be a good job candidate. Candidates are expected to be ambitious. It is the undying fire of desire that helps them achieve difficult career goals too, all too easily. You need to be a determined and ambitious if you really wish to be a successful person or successful employee. Means you should be ambitious. And during your interview process, you have to focus these things. Means uh, every interviewer ask one question that where you are seeing yourself after two years, after five years, after six years. And that answer defines whether you are ambitious or not. So you should be prepared for that particular answer. Computer efficiency. Nowadays, regardless of the nature of the job, every job today demands a basic understanding of computer hardware and software, especially word processing, spreadsheet, and email writing. Nowadays in industry, means every work is going with the help of computer. Means suppose you have to prepare any presentation, you have a good knowledge of PowerPoint, you should have good knowledge of Excel, Suppose you have to plot some graphs or some calculations, you should have good knowledge of Excel. And uh, whatever documents you are preparing, suppose MFR, MPR, BPR, BMR, your PDR, for development report, that all documents you are preparing MS Word format. So you should have basic knowledge of computer. Proficiency with technology and its applications are absolutely crucial in today's information age. So you should have at least basic MS package knowledge success in your job. This is a video example means what are the common mistakes that every candidate are doing while giving the interview. Just a second. After this video, we discuss. Tell what me are about mistakes. yourself. My good name Bholaram Misra. I am pure Brahmin. I passed away from Devta College in BSc Biology. I am a huge fan of crickets. I am fast baller. Many experts, batsmen always appreciate my ball. Uh, also uh, about crickets, uh, I'm also fond of listening music, songs like slow songs and especially moody songs. What work experience do you have? Uh, Work experience, the last I worked with, with Mr. Rameshwar Tiwari, he's a farmer. Uh, we grew uh, pumpkin, brinjal, lady fingers, big fingers. I am, and I am also worked as a part-time job in Herban Salon Coaching as a teacher. Have you ever worked in quality control? Uh, no, sir. I actually, I did not work there. But uh, I think that you will give me a chance for my bright careers. You know, sorry, everything is first time. Just believe in me. What do you know about fertilizers and quality control? Uh, fertilizing is my passion. As I told you that I work with, this, with a farmer. Uh, 
many times we we grew up top quality uh, top quality vegetables in bijnor districts you don't have experience uh, but i am most most excellent i stood first in school and inter and uh, in local newspapers i came many times people of bijnor call me bijnor ka bashsha that's why i am applying for this quality control myself good quality sir okay where do you see yourself 5 years from now in coming 5 years uh, i see myself that i am working at your company uh, i am earning more money i have many expansion plans and i would like to open a branch for your company especially in bijnor districts there is a lot of demands for fertilizer yes but doing what in what role uh, sir my mother say whatever you do do with full hearts and let me say one thing sir wherever i put my hands i always do good i think that i am confident and i fulfill all the requirements for this post sir why should i hire you at qatar fertilizers uh sir as i told you that's a i am good i am hard worker i am responsible person i want to make your company as a pride for the nation my passport is ready tatkal mein thank you we will get back to you okay okay uh, means from this interview what you understand what are the common mistake this person has made while interview process whether this person is going to hire by that organization or not i am expecting these answers from you in chat box okay that person is not going to be hired by that organization why means what are the common mistakes this candidate has made the first and very important common mistakes this candidate has done is improper communication skills okay means we don't understand what he want to say in english or the meanings are very different apart from communication skills what are the other factors you can say that are responsible for failure of this candidate in the during interview process anyone i am expecting your responses in chat box communication is one of the very important thing that this person is going to miss during interview apart from that alertness he is not alert he don't know who is means taking the interview whether it is a ladies or whether it is gents so he is not alert his body language his over confidence his body language is not proper and he is uh, having a false confidence and whatever he is going to tell he is not ambitious he is not able to give the answer of that questions means whether he is seeing himself after 5 years so these are the common mistakes that every candidate are going to from this interview common mistakes while applying for the job having spelling errors and bad grammar as i told you earlier that when any industry is going to hire you they are going to judge that candidate right from the application process means how you are going to write your application job applications how you are going to write your email so they are going to judge everything having spelling errors and bad grammars is representing you means what you are how much alert you are how much responsible you are exaggerating the truth during this last interview we can say that person is going to exaggerate the truth poor formatting sometimes means while uh, designing your job application your cv you are using very poor formatting means you are not serious that shows that you are not serious not focusing on your achievements is why your focus is important as elder i told you the achievements defines you means whether you are ambitious whether you are leader whether you are responsible that all defined by your achievement so it's your responsibility to focus your achievements in a right way making your cv too long means as you are fresher candidate everyone is expecting your cv within two pages maximum two pages sometimes some candidates are there they are preparing their cv too long so three four four pages cvs are there putting the wrong contact information not tailoring your cv to the specific role 
means suppose you have a production executive vacancy you have to tailor or you have to prepare your cv with respect to that position suppose you have interview for pharmacovigilance suppose you have interview for r and d you have to highlight that skills means you should not do that you have prepared one cv and you are applying for every position by utilizing that particular cv using an inappropriate email address for example james bond 009 at the rate xs.com this type of email address means simply the whatever recruiter manager is there simply they are deleting your email means applications from inappropriate emails are straight away rejects no matter how good your cv is employer won't continue to the next stage of the recruitment process it's doubtful that they even read it so it is your responsibility you should have appropriate email address writing that you are an expert in microsoft excel might seems like a great idea at the time but when you get the job and are asked to perform a v lookup you will instantly regret your decision here i wanted to share one experience when i was in micro labs one person has attended the interview in our analytical development department and in his cv he has mentioned that i am masters in hplc that interviewer doesn't ask any question to that person simply he says uh, come with me he taken that person in front of hplc and said just run this hplc and uh, run this method if you are able to run this method you are hired if not then you, you you are not going to be hired okay the person who has written that i am masters in hplc he is not able to use that particular hplc he says uh, i have utilized different hplc different software i am not able to use that recruiter asked him then why you have mentioned that you are masters in hplc simply they rejected that person means whatever you know means whatever knowledge you have that you should capture in your cv means don't capture anything that you don't know because what going to happen that recruiter is going to defer your resume at the time of interview procedure and they are going to prepare questions with respect to your resume if you don't know anything don't mention in your cv <coughs> sorry these are some real time examples of incorrect job applications means these are some job application that i have received on my email address means how means how much students are serious or i don't know means whether they know what is the importance of job applications what is the importance of email writing means uh, you can refer this email application that it means inappropriate formatting improper communication skills lot of grammatical mistakes are there no signature is there no proper closing is there no proper headline is there so this type of job application simply rejected by the recruiters so you should be alert while writing an email to any organization means from this email they are going to judge you okay here you can say i have completed my graduation in so and so college i have read all the details and i am interested i is small for the recommended vacancy educational details are mentioned in the resume so many grammatical mistakes are there please give me a chance to prove myself no full stop no formatting nothing if you send this type of email simply you are rejected this is second example that regarding formation development improper subject respected sir kindly find the attached file of my cv with reference from santosh visual sir this person has sent cv to me with my reference find below the details you require looking forward to speak with you for this opportunity means improper email writing and 90% of applications are rejected at this point there are some examples expected sir with reference to above here by sending my resume for your perusal means a lot of spelling mistakes means how means how much students are serious how much that candidate is serious that represents from your email writing or from your job application okay so means format for an ideal cover letter means while applying for any job at least what you need have to mention in the job application at least you should mention subject for which position or for which post you are going to apply in your subject line you should include your name plus job title greetings that 
dear sir dear madam dear hiring manager or if you know the name of that person you should greet them you should include the body of the message write two to three paragraphs carefully matching your qualifications to the job requirements and you should have proper closing and you should mention your signature over there include your full name address phone email and you have a good linkedin profile then and then you mention your linkedin url over there if not then don't mention sometime what happens in your linkedin some personalities are there they mention their names in small letters okay and that is not acceptable so these are the few things that recruiters are going to judge while looking for your application okay thank you if anyone have any questions they can ask me hello santosh yes sir so can you comment on data integrity yeah and what data integrity is very important in the pharma industry actually it is the heart of pharma industry because here data plays a very important role means uh, when, uh, whenever auditors are coming to audit your facilities you have to give confidence to them you are doing right practice and how you are going to give confidence to them you are doing right practice by providing data so data is very important raw data sub data metadata is very important means whatever activity you have perform you have perform in a right way at right time so many organizations are there their audit is going to fail just because of data integrity issues means what happen they have performed that activity in different time frame and they are going to write in a different time frame means uh, i don't want to give that name of the organization that got 483 what happened the organization is working in three shifts and two persons have filled that uh, sheet format means a person filled in first shift b in second shift third in i mean again a in first shift b in second shift means there is a lot of data integrity issues in that industry that how one person has came in the industry for two shifts means they have done false practice so data integrity is very important in pharma industry any question can you can post yeah. feedback link is sent in the chat box available in chat box you can fill up the link feedback link santosh again can you just highlight the key points for a fresher while going for interview some key points that you can yeah very important key point i can say means uh, i already mentioned that 90% of job applications are rejected by their poor formatting poor email writing email writing is very important and this is the first step where your application is going to select or reject so the students means they should be very serious at this point how to write email how to design your resume uh, how to give file name means your resume title is very important some persons some candidates are there they are referring resume of their friend and they forgot to edit that name suppose i have to refer cv of x person that given that x resume and you are not taking means that uh, alertness is not there you are not taking efforts to change that file name itself means these are the things that going to represent you in a bad way okay apart from that at the time of interview your gesture posture your body language is very important means although you have knowledge but you do you have a poor attitude you have poor gesture or posture they are not going to hire you so it is very important means they are judging you in every step means your job applications your drapery your communication skills your body language how you are handling different situations everything they are going to notice and based on that they are going to hire you so it is very important okay thank you santosh for sharing your wisdom with us 
Now I request Professor Rupari Dawangi Madam to give a vote of thanks over to Madam. Thank you, sir. A warm and I'm audible, sir. Yes. Yes, yes. A warm and graceful morning to our most honorable chief guest and keynote speaker, Dr. Vinayak Deshmukh, principal of Mura Education Society, College of Pharmacy, Sole, and one of the most eminent alumina, Mr. Santosh Bhujbal, PhD research scholar at University of Auckland, New Zealand. Uh, Dr. MJ Chavan, principal of Amrutwani College of Pharmacy, management committee, and my dear colleague and everyone present over here. I am Ms. Rupali Dawange, Assistant Professor at Amrutwani College of Pharmacy, Sangamil. It's such an honor for me to propose a vote of thanks on the behalf of Amrutwani Shetty and Shikshan Vikas Sansas, Amrutwani College of Pharmacy, Sangamil. The contribution of those who work so hard to make this student development program happen. I extend my gratitude to our honorable chief guest, Dr. Vinayak Deshmukh, presently working as a principal at Mura Education Society, College of Pharmacy, Sonai, who spared their valuable time for us and gracing this event. Your thoughts have motivated all of you. Uh, you are, we are so glad for your valuable presence and guidance. Thank you, sir, so much. Now, I would like to rotate my gratitude towards today's speaker, Mr. Santosh Bhujbar, PhD research scholar, University of Auckland, New Zealand, for making deep sense on the industry expectation from pharmacy gratitudes and also uh, how to face the interview, what is the importance of communication skill, facial expression, body language during the interview, and also have give us the knowledge about how to write the job application and also give us the idea about the format for our ideal cover letter. Thank you so much, sir, being with us today and brightens our students' mind. A special thanks to our principal, Dr. MJ Chavan, being the catalyst that inspired us to do our best and stand as a pillar of the power with the deep sense of appreciation. This, is, this type of incident cannot be happen overnight. The wheel starts moving about a week ago and it requires the planning and bird's eye for the details. We have been fortunate to, uh, to be supported by the team and a very active and dedicated employee of our organization who are well versed in their job. So thank you, our head of alumina, Dr. Sayyas Sadi and team, Mr. Sanket Kalmek sir and Ashwini Varun Sema. Thank you for their entire effect. Thank you so much. Thank you, madam, for the vote of thanks. Now this is the last episode you are having and last is best. So I thank all of you for joining this session and this episode. Best of luck to all of you. Thank you. I will thank close you. all.